this grass yesterday and now it's long. That's how crazy it's growing right now. But good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm excited. When you wake up in the morning, before your alarm, get all your animal chores done, not the horses, but all your other animal chores done. Clean your house, do the laundry, and still fit in last year's summer clothes. Oh, it's a good day. So it is not even hot in the barn at night and Sam already has a fan out. Oh, feed the horses please, I have to go get a battery. I can hear voices. You're not, she's gonna hear voices. So last night, my son showed up, with son showed up with some friends and decided to have a fire. Okay. So we all ended up sitting around the fire and then they all wanted to see the horses. So we were in the barn last night, hanging out with the horses like at 10 o'clock at night, just hanging out with them. Everybody was brushing them and giving them attention and they were like, what the heck is happening? Anyway, it was gorgeous in there last night. Like it was, there was such a nice breeze blowing through. All the windows were open, yet Sam's worried, has a fan. I love that about him. So last night we're in here and there's this girl and she's in a willow stall and she's brushing her and she's like really enjoying it and she goes to her butt to brush her tail before she brushes her tail she says like will she kick me and Sophie and I are like no our horses are so well trained like they're such people horses and as soon as I say it Willow pops her head up and books it right out of the stall like three of us in her stall and she pops her head up like she was planning it and she books it right out of the stall and runs to the hay <laughs> and we're like okay maybe we were wrong <laughs> Anyway, it was funny. It was such a good night. I spent lots of time with Nick, my son Nick, and he was cutting, he bought an ax and was cutting a bunch of the wood that we have around our property for fires. Because I told you guys, this year I want to be the year of the family. What do you think? This year we make it about our family again? Because for the- How do people do that? Oh, you want me to show you? So you did it. You just fold it again and again, so it's much smaller. What she wants to know is how we knotted them. See, like this? She wants to know how to do that. It still doesn't look the same. Yeah, it does not look the same. How do I do it? Well, that it looks the same. Darker, this is lighter. Different twine. Anyway, we are saving all of our twine. We have a lot. Yeah, of because I have plans for it now. I should look up a Pinterest and see. I wanna make penny ball out of it. Oh, that would be fun. Because I feel like it would be really cool. So we are waiting for Gabby, and what are we doing today, Sophie? Riding Chance. Riding Chance. Yesterday was such a weird day for me. I just felt sad. Like, I watched that video of that little girl riding her horse, and I just, it was kind of like a down day, and I had so many things to do, and I was just running all day. It just felt like I didn't have enough time to do any of the things that I wanted to do. And you guys know what that feels like when you just feel like, over pressured, over driven, like you had to have so much stuff. And then it was just a really rough day. And then I had the fire with my son, made it so much nicer. And then, but I didn't get to bed late. And I woke up this morning and I feel so good again. I feel back to my normal self. I just feel like I had a big rest or a big breath and I can start fresh. And I just wanted to tell you guys that everybody has bad days or sad days or down days or overwhelmed days or whatever it is. Bad days always happen, especially when you're women because we do so much and they always pass. And I have this saying that I always think about whenever I'm feeling really stressed out and it's so simple, but it's, it's this too shall pass. Like every time there's a hardship or every time there's like a rough time, I always remember that this will pass. It'll pass. And I just tell myself the right things. I tell my, I remind myself, this is going to pass. This is going to pass. Just let it go. Just go slow. This is good. This is a crazy wild day. And then you let it go. And then you wake up tomorrow and it's fresh and new. Yesterday I had to drive my son to work early in the morning. So I came hey, down. Okay. Okay. And you're going to be in the way. So yesterday I came down to do chores all myself. Oh my gosh. See, it only takes one time. One mistake. Don't you no, don't even do think that. about that. Take two. Run, little pony. Run. Nope. <laughs> what was that one? Get out there, little pony two. 
Right, Penny Pickle on the loose. Go slow. Go slow. Hi, Princess. Whoa. <laughs> short now because of camps. Yeah. Something that I wanted to tell you guys. I just want to make sure there's clean fresh water in there. So uh, you guys saw Sophie <laughs> riding. Awesome. Just wait. They saw you riding Watcha and they all said that she's the horse you should be riding because you ride the best. You ride her the best. They notice a huge change in you. But why is there a big change in you Sophie? Because of champs. I saw a few comments in our video yesterday. People saying like when you're keeping Sophie's videos and her journey with Chance is Secret, it just causes like people to be suspicious and and not understand why we would do that. We're not keeping it a secret, we're gonna share her journey for sure because that's who we are and we like to do that and I want them to grow up wanting to share their journey. But that little tiny bit at the beginning where they're knowing each other and becoming one together, I want her to have that little bit of time without all the criticism and the mean and the mad and the judgments and like when we sold Finn it wasn't because she had outgrown him and they were past their journey she was outgrowing him and most parents know that kids grow up and then out and then up and then out and that's how they grow and that once you reach like Sophie's age there's this really awkward time when you're developing where you like forget how to ride and your body doesn't work the same way and that is normal and all girls go through that and we knew that she was going to grow past that stage that she was in and we know that um Finn can carry a rider, an adult rider, easily. He's a big, stocky, huge, large pony. He, he could handle that. He was ridden by a man before we bought him. And a much bigger, much heavier man. And the reason that... So we knew Sophie was going to come through this stage where she was awkward and where she was leaning forward on him. But we weren't given the opportunity to take that time for her to fix those things before we sold Finn. You guys know we wanted to keep him this last summer. And we did every single thing we could to try and help her while she's going through this growing stage. And we tried different, we were trying different saddles. We were trying different saddle pads. We were trying uh, trainer rides. Our trainer was riding our horse. We um, were trying so many different things, but then somebody made a video about us and it caused so much hate and it just, wasn't worth it because we were going to be rehoming him we were going to be selling him to his new new family that could take him further because sophie was growing out of him so even though we totally understand that she was growing out of him and he wasn't going to be her forever horse we got rushed into finding him a new home and i don't want sophie to like she already is so nervous about us not buying chance because of people's comments and I don't want her to have that pressure. I don't want her to have that stress. I want her to be 12. I want her to like l learn to love him for who he is and not have to like see all the hate and all the criticism and self-doubt. I don't want her to have self-doubt. It makes it seem like we're hiding it, her and him for a reason and we're not. It's just that I want to protect her and keep her a child and keep her and foster the love she has for this boy until it's solidified and then share her story with him. I hope you guys understand that. Sneaky, sneaky. I love how Gabby just sneaks into the barn and starts her chores. Oh, honestly, Sam, I need a wagon. It's too far to carry that stuff. Today's gonna be kind of a crazy day because we're here early to ride, not super early, but we're here to ride and then we have to come back tonight for the uh, massage girl. So Gabby's planning to ride Chino today and then a ride of Finn tonight. She hasn't ridden Finn in a few days, but Brandon also rides Finn. You guys know I've told you that he does a lot of schooling rides on our horses. So he rode him. He's been riding him and keeping him up while Gabby's been focusing on Chino. Where's your fly mask, dude? Don't eat that. Where's your fly mask? Hello, what's happening in here? Hello? No, I can't come in. They locked me out, you guys. Sophie decided to bring the GoPro today, which we haven't been doing much GoPro stuff. And she wants to GoPro her ride on Chance. So it's even all dusty. We haven't used it. Oh, I missed my Chance, but he was just standing here. 
And I was wiggling his chin. That's how relaxed he is. Yeah, I forgot how calm you are. Let's go, Mr. Handsome. Let's go. <laughs> go. So Sophie's on her horse and she's got her GoPro on. And you guys should know, like, she has been seriously doing her best on this horse. She has been like practicing so many of the things that Brandon has been making her do. She's running around just walking, so I'm not gonna check up my horse just yet. He thought, what was a voodoo doll? I don't know, the thing next to the chalk on top of the chalkboard. Oh, it does look like a voodoo doll. So they might do the in-home shows at this barn this year. It might be something that she does. Stop it. <laughs> he knows exactly what to do. So if she's not ready, he's like already trying to shove the bit in his mouth. Sometimes when I'm in the stall and I have no room to move, he will literally bite like his bridle, thinking it's the bit. Or put the bit in his mouth before it's like ready so that I have to take it out. He looks raring to go. So Gabby rode chance outside around the cows and did fabulous. He did so good, but now this guy is sweaty. It's hot out. Oh, yuck. I'm just grabbing a dink. Yeah, so if he's going to wash him down, get all that yucky oil, get all that yucky sweat off you, okay? Did you pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the mat? It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along And I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a foreign tent, it's 5.30 Useless words What you said, what I said That might have made it worse We're here again At the same spot where we kissed The first time I swear my pain's far away Long gone by now We've got a bottle of tent It's 5.30 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left Get in trouble again That star's got nothing on you That one's brand Suddenly they're best friends. Oh, you guys missed it, but they were kissing each other through the thing. All right, everybody's been washed down. Did you wash his bum? No, I didn't. They both actually really love their butts being cleaned. Yeah, because you don't like sweat, huh? You saw it on, and that was just sweat, and this side had foam. Really? Yeah. We use like a non-slip pad, so it makes him super sweaty. It's 1 p.m. and we are ready to go. It's been a long it's day. 1 p.m. Yeah, it's been. We're like 11. It's been a long day at the barn, it's like two hours. but we are ready to go. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that you're